The movie begins with a woman named Anna coming back from a walk with her dog. She sees her husband Peter about to leave and ask him where he is going. Peter replied that a police from Stockholm called him and tells him to come up there. She says she can drop him to the airport, but he tells her that he will take a taxi. The scene then shifts to Peter bringing his teenage son Gustav from his first marriage to meet with Anna. Peter introduced Gustav to Anna. The twins, Frida and Fanny welcomes their stepbrother with presents, but Gustav seems little uncomfortable with this. Then we see Anna with her sister in a nail salon discussing about Gustav. She tells her that, her stepson is kicked out from his previous school, and he is going to continue his school here and live with them. Her sister also tells Anna that she should sometime visit their mother. When Anna is cleaning her stepson room Gustav came back from washroom without shirt. Seeing this Anna smile and start teasing with him, and then she leave the room. When Anna came back from a walk she hears Gustav arguing with his father saying that he doesn't want to live here, and he want to live an independent life. Later that night, Peter tells Anna that he thinks it will be better if Gustav stays in a boarding school. But Anna tells Peter to give his son some time to adjust with this new environment. One day when Anna is returns from gym she finds that their house has been robbed and she calls the police to report the robbery. After some days Anna found out that it was Gustav who robbed the house and she tells to Gustav that she has proof that it was him. She also tells him that as he already has record in the police she will withdraw from filling the report. And in return she asks Gustav to lean in the family by spending more time with the twins as a brother and she also asks to step up. Gustav agrees to her suggestion and leave. Gustav then start talking and bonding with his stepsisters and Anna look at them and smile. Later that night Gustav brings her girlfriend and introduce her to Anna. When Anna returned to her room she hears Gustav and his girlfriend making love. So she looks into the mirror and touch herself, saying that she is still young and pretty and her body is still rock solid like Gustav girlfriend. Later when Peter comes back, she also makes love with Peter that night. The next day Anna, Gustav and the twins comes for a camping near a lake. As Gustav is swimming with his stepsisters, he sees Anna sitting alone, so he asks Anna to join them, but she replies that she is too old for that. After a while Anna joins them, and they all begins to play with the water. That same night while everybody is asleep, Anna offers Gustav beers, and as they were talking Anna saw the tattoo in Gustav's arm, and she asked to do the same on her arm. Gustav tells her that his father will scold him, so, he tattooed her arm with only three small dots. Anna then tells him that she likes it a lot. The scene then shift to the family playing hide and seek. While Anna was hiding, Gustav suddenly appears from behind and touches her shoulders, and she feels something that she haven't feel for so long. Later that night as she was lying she couldn't stop thinking about her stepson. So she goes to her stepson room and kisses him and make love to him. The next day, Anna goes to computer shop and she asks the salesman to show her the best laptop and she buys the best laptop to give to her stepson. When Anna tells Peter that she bought a computer for Gustav, Peter can't believe it, he smile and thanks Anna for thinking Gustav as her own son. Anna sees Gustav outside the house talking in the phone. She then calls Gustav up and takes him to the bathroom and begins to make love. While they are enjoying in the bathroom, they hear Peter coming back. So Anna rush out from the bathroom and acts normal. The two then goes to the woods and continue making love there. It has been several days now, and they are continuing their relation secretly. And while they are spending their times together, they started to record their conversation for fun and Gustav asked her who was her first person that she had physical relation with. She replied that it was with someone who shouldn't have been. And Gustav replies, so it is same like you and me. She says yes and left. In the following scene they are celebrating the twins' birthday. Anna goes inside to take the food and Gwadav saw her and follows her. He then stops her and kisses her. While they are kissing Anna saw her sister staring at them. Her sister fled immediately from the scene. Anna then goes after her sister and tells her not to tell anybody. Her sister is disgusted talking about what she saw and left the party. After this incident she realized that she needs to end the relation. The following day she asks Gustav to meet her in the woods. She tells him that all things has an ending and it is time for our relation to end. Gustav without saying anything left the scene. While Anna is working out Peter tells her that Gustav seem off lately. And he tells her that he is taking Gustav to the cabin for a couple of days and spend some times together and figure out why his son is acting weird. After a couple of days when Anna returns from work she sees Peter and Gustav has returned from the cabin. After the twins were asleep Peter asks Anna to come sit beside him. He tells her that Gustav has agreed to go to the boarding school. He also tells her that Gustav has revealed that they had a secret affairs. 
Anna acts surprised and tells Peter that he is telling lies, and he is doing this as a revenge for his mother, because Anna stole his father from his mother. Anna then start packing her stuff telling that she is going to leave the house, and don't want to live with this psycho boy. Peter try to stop her saying that his mind going crazy, and don't know whom to believe. She tells him that his son even robs their house, but she didn't tell him because she was afraid that he will kick him out. Peter then tells her not to go and discuss the situation calmly and hug her. After this, Anna snuck into Gustav's room looking for the recording tape that they had made together. The following day all three of them sit together in the drawing room. Peter tells Gustav that his accusation to Anna is very harsh, and he should never lie about that kind of thing. Gustav is shocked to hear this and he faces towards Anna and says, aren't you going to say anything? Anna tells Gustav why he is doing this to her. Anna gets up tells Gustav that she love him like his own son. Gustav then spits on her face and leaves the scene. As Gustav is putting his luggage in the trunk leaving to live with his mother, the twins rushes and hugs him and says goodbye. One day when it arrives in her workplace she finds Gustav sitting in a chair waiting for her. She takes Gustav to her office. Gustav then asks her to tell Peter the truth or else he is going to report to the police and tells him that nobody is going to believe him with the record that he has in his past. She tells him to get over it and move on. One night when Anna is working late in her bed, she hears somebody knocking the doors. When Anna comes to the door, she sees Gustav. Gustav tells her that he wants to talk with his father one last time, but Anna refuses him to go inside the house. Gustav try to kiss her but she pushes him and tells him never to come back again. The scene then shift exactly as seen in beginning of the story where Anna asks Peter where he is going and telling him that she can drop him to the airport. And we see Peter has returned from Stockholm, and when Anna asks what happened, he tells Anna with tears that Gustav was found dead in the woods by Hunter. And he was also informed by the police that he gave up his life just by sitting and freezing himself to dead. Later that night as they were getting ready to sleep, Anna tells Peter that it wasn't his fall. And as she gets up and try to tell the truth Peter pushes and to the wall covering her mouth and tells her not to say anything and leave. 